Welcome to Off the Beaten Path. Please be sure to like and subscribe. India is a country with a rich and diverse history, culture, and traditions. It is home to some of the oldest civilizations in the world and has been an important part of global trade for centuries. There are many interesting facts about India that are not widely known. From its ancient monuments to its vibrant festivals, India has something for everyone. In this video, we share some interesting and little-known facts about India that you may not have heard before. In India, cows are considered sacred and have been revered since ancient times. They are seen as symbols of prosperity and fertility, and their milk is believed to have healing properties. Cows are also seen as a source of food, providing milk, ghee, yogurt, and other dairy products. In addition to this, they provide manure for agricultural purposes and serve as a source of transportation in rural areas. The reverence for cows in India is so strong that it has even been enshrined in law. The slaughter of cows is illegal in most Indian states. India's Ladakh region is a remote and rugged area located in the Himalayan mountains. It is home to some of the most spectacular landscapes in the world, including snow-capped mountains, deep valleys, and vast deserts. Ladakh is also home to the world's highest automobile road at 19,300 feet. India has a long and rich history of diamond mining, with evidence of the practice dating back to the 4th century BC. In fact, India was the first country to mine diamonds, and it is estimated that over half of all diamonds mined in the world have come from India. The country's diamond mines are located in various parts of the country, including Rajasthan, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. The Indian diamond industry has been an important part of its economy for centuries. It is estimated that around 90% of all diamonds used in jewelry are cut and polished in India. Eating with your hands is a common practice in India, and it has been for centuries. It is believed that eating with your hands helps to bring out the flavors of the food better than using utensils. Eating with your fingers also allows you to feel the texture of the food, which can be an important part of enjoying a meal. In India, it is considered polite to eat with only your right hand as the left hand is considered unclean. This practice has been passed down through generations and continues to be a part of Indian culture today. India is home to the highest population of vegetarians in the world. According to a survey conducted by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, over 40% of Indians are vegetarians. This is due to a variety of reasons, including religious beliefs, cultural practices, and health concerns. The vegetarian diet in India consists mainly of grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. This type of diet has been linked to numerous health benefits such as improved heart health and weight loss. Holi is a vibrant and joyous Hindu festival celebrated across India. It is also known as the Festival of Colors and marks the beginning of spring. People gather together to celebrate this special occasion by throwing colored powder and water at each other, singing and dancing, and feasting on traditional sweets. Holi is a time for families to come together, share stories, and create lasting memories. It is an opportunity for people to forget their differences and come together in harmony. India is home to the world's largest sundial, located in Jaipur. The sundial is a massive structure that stands at an impressive height of 108 feet and has a diameter of about 98 feet. It was built in the year 1728 by Maharaja Jai Singh II and is considered to be one of the most accurate sundials. It is also known as Jantar Mantar which means instrument for measuring the harmony of the heavens. The sundial consists of several instruments that are used to measure time, calculate astronomical positions, and predict eclipses. During World War II, the Taj Mahal which is one of the most iconic monuments in the world, was disguised as a bamboo stockpile in order to protect it from potential air raids. This was done by the British government in order to prevent the iconic monument from being destroyed. The disguise was so effective that even German pilots flying over Agra were unable to recognize it. The bamboo stockpile was so convincing that it fooled even experienced pilots who had flown over the area many times before. 
This clever disguise allowed the Taj Mahal to survive World War II unscathed and remain one of India's most beloved monuments today. Snakes and Ladders, also known as Moksha Padam, is a popular board game that originated in India. It is believed to have been created by the 13th century poet Saint Yandev and was used to teach children about the consequences of good and bad deeds. The game has since become popular all over the world and is now played by people of all ages. The objective of the game is to reach the end of the board before your opponent does, while avoiding snakes that will send you back down the board and ladders that will help you climb up it. In some parts of India, Coke and Pepsi are being used as an alternative to chemical pesticides. This is due to the fact that these drinks contain high levels of sugar and caffeine which can be used to kill pests. The use of these drinks as pesticides has been found to be effective in controlling pests such as aphids, whiteflies, and mealybugs. Furthermore, it is also cost-effective compared to chemical pesticides. This method of pest control has been gaining popularity in India due to its effectiveness and affordability. India is one of the countries with the lowest divorce rates in the world. According to a report by the United Nations, India has a divorce rate of just 1.1%, which is significantly lower than other countries such as the United States, 3.2%, and Australia, 2.9%. This low rate can be attributed to various factors such as strong family values, religious beliefs, and social stigma associated with divorce in India. Additionally, marriage is seen as a sacred bond in Indian culture and couples are expected to stay together for life. Varanasi, also known as Banaras or Kashi, is one of the oldest cities in the world. It is located on the banks of the Ganges River in Uttar Pradesh and has been continuously inhabited since at least 1000 BCE. It is believed to be one of the oldest surviving cities in the world and has been a major cultural and religious center for Hindus for centuries. Varanasi is home to many temples, shrines, and other religious sites that attract millions of pilgrims each year. The city also boasts a rich history and culture that can be seen in its architecture, art, music, literature, and cuisine. Spices are an integral part of Indian cooking, and it is estimated that around 70% of the world's spices come from India. This includes a wide variety of spices such as cardamom, cumin, coriander, turmeric, ginger, cloves, cinnamon, and many more. These spices are used to add flavor to dishes as well as for medicinal purposes. The use of these spices has been part of Indian culture for centuries and continues to be an important part of the country's culinary heritage today. Tea is an integral part of Indian culture and has been for centuries. It is the national beverage of India and is consumed by millions of people every day. Tea has a long history in India, with its origins dating back to the 5th century BC. It was first introduced to India by the British in the 19th century, and since then it has become an important part of Indian culture. The Amritsar Golden Temple is a holy site for the Sikh religion and is located in the city of Amritsar, India. It is also known as Harmandar Sahib or Darbar Sahib and serves as a spiritual center for Sikhs from all over the world. One of the most remarkable features of this temple is that it serves free meals to anyone who visits it. This service, known as Langar, has been in place since the temple was founded in 1577 and continues to this day. The Langar provides nutritious vegetarian meals to thousands of people every day regardless of their caste, creed, or religion. India was the first country to refine and consume sugar, a discovery that changed the course of history. Sugar was first discovered in India around 500 BC and it quickly became an important part of Indian culture. It was used as a sweetener in food, drinks, and medicines. The process of refining sugar from cane juice was developed in India and it spread to other parts of the world through trade routes. This discovery revolutionized the way people consumed food and beverages, making them sweeter than ever before. Shampoo is a product that has been used for centuries to cleanse and condition the hair. It originated in India, where it was first used as a medicinal remedy for scalp ailments. The word shampoo itself is derived from the Hindi word champo, which means to massage or knead. In India, shampoo was traditionally made from natural ingredients such as herbs, flowers, fruits, 
and oils. These ingredients were mixed together to create a paste-like substance that was then applied to the scalp and massaged into the hair. Thank you for watching and please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.